mouth. Oh. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. What are you doing here? We are cooking together. Yay, the three of us cooking together. Yay! Oh my God, this is going to be epic. I can't wait. This is going to be the best video recipe ever. Are you guys ready? We are going to make the best vegetarian lasagna video recipe on YouTube. So are you guys ready to cook? This is going to be epic! Yeah, yeah, you are epic. All right, epic. epic. It's going to be epic. First thing to do, we want to put a nice amount of extra virgin olive oil into a pot. When the oil warms up, you want to uh, chop finely uh, half onion. You put the onion and then you cut all the other ingredients into cubes. So we use eggplant, half or one apiece. We use one zucchini. We use two capsicums, remove the seeds. We want to use carrots and celery. Put them together. You cook it for about 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, we want to add the mushroom. I chose oyster mushroom for this recipe. Porcini mushroom. Yeah, you can use porcini if you want. So, uh, cut uh, into small pieces and we cook it. We also like to add um, maybe a glass of water in there and some salt and pepper. We need to give the nice flavor to our ingredients. You like pepper? Yeah. Just put as much as you like. And keep stirring so that you know our ingredients mix together. This is a very important part of the recipe because um, is when we join them together so all the ingredients can become a big family. And now let it cook for about 15 minutes, slow cooked, nice and covered. See you very soon guys. We need some herbs. Can I please have the herbs? Thank you. Just um, a little herbs, mix of herbs, just to give the extra flavor to this ingredient. And now it's time for us to add the passata. Do you know what the difference is between passata and tomato sauce? You know, sugo? So, passata is the tomato puree. Pure tomato, uh, maybe with some salt and extra virgin olive oil. Not many flavors. The sugo, which is the tomato sauce, is the tomato base. You know, with basil, carrot, celery, onions, whatever you want to do. So that's, that's the difference. And now, we put the passata inside. A beautiful made tomato puree. Salt and pepper for the tomato. It does need the salt and pepper. And just be generous, please. Always be generous with your salt and pepper. The tomato loves it. How dare you do this to my sauce? It's my sauce. Go away. Cooking is fun, we don't need you, you're too serious. I'll show you how to cook now, let's cook together, huh? Let's cook it. Now make sure you stir. Use about 300 grams of a nice creamy ricotta. The softer the ricotta is, the better it is for the ricotta to uh, incorporate into the sauce. Now I'm going to watch what you do. Let's see if you can cook as good as me. I'll take the challenge. Are you forgetting something?
I was about to do that. Huh? In fact, I am ready, my grader. <laughs> well, let's do it. Parmigiano, Parmesan cheese, yum, yum. The sauce is now ready. It's been cooking for about 30, 35 minutes. And now I can show you how to make the lasagna sheets. I'm doing the pasta. Now, you are here huh? to wash up. Epic! That's right. We're making a lasagna for about four to six people, right? So what I'm going to use today, I'm using about 200 grams of flour. Then I'm using two eggs. So every 100 grams of flour, you use one egg. That's it, nothing else. What about the salt? Well, no, I don't use salt, but you can use salt. There's no rules there, you know? I don't use salt because I put a lot of salt in my sauce. Mm -hmm. So, add the flour on a surface and make a well. Now, break the eggs. We're using two eggs here, 200 grams of flour, and start uh, mixing them with the fork. What you want to do now, a little bit of the time, you want to get the flour from the edges so that you actually create a creamy, eggy cream, you know? So you keep um, adding the flour in there. You don't want the, the, the eggs to be too runny because um, otherwise they go just everywhere and makes a mess. When you see the, the eggs become more uh, dense, um, you can start working this dough with your hands. You work with your hands and this is the time when you need to relax. This is the time when you need to just enjoy the moment. So use your hands and release your stress. Just work it hard. Work, work, work it hard as much as you can. I would say do this for about 10 to 15 minutes. I can imagine my grandmother. She makes about two kilos at a time. <laughs> I'm only making 200 grams. And you know what? My grandmother, she makes it all by hand. No machines. When you make the dough, the actual temperature in your room can make the difference. So keep working the dough until you see that the gluten has been created um, and you don't have any flour left. You don't want to see any white. So you keep going. And then I would suggest you uh, maybe to wait 15 to 20 minutes uh, before you make your pasta. And um, cover the dough so you don't, you don't dry it up. This is the moment I love the most. We're making the lasagna sheets. Now, what we do, we get a piece of lasagna uh, and make sure the pasta is always covered. <laughs> I to do it. Get a piece of lasagna. Now, you put the pasta machine at a wide setting. See the gluten there? Look how good it is. Look at that. Look how beautiful this dough is. This is perfect. Perfection, my friend. So, what we do now, put the dough in there and we start rolling the dough. And we keep going thinner and thinner. You want this pasta sheet to be nice and thin. Go smaller gradually, you know, a little bit at a time. You can see now that we are creating the lasagna sheet. Look at that. Mm? Can you see that? We basically stop when we can see our fingers on the pasta sheet. Now we go to the tightest one. Look at that. This is gonna be perfect, guys. This is gonna be the lasagna sheet that we want. Beautiful. And here is our first lasagna sheet. Look at that. Look at the perfection. Then we cut it. We can make about three sheets here, look. Or if you want, you can actually keep it long. So see guys, we're all done. Done in five minutes. And we got the lasagna sheets. Took no time to make it, and it's more fun. So put the lasagna sheets on a tray so they don't, you know, they don't dry up and they don't go on top of each other. And now, let's go and make the lasagna. Come on, let's do it. These two idiots at the back, they think I can't do it. They don't understand anything. Now, we need a nice tray to present this lasagna. A beautiful, amazing Italian dish. What we do, we put a little bit of sauce at the bottom, and then we do the first layer of lasagna sheets. Make sure you cover every corner. And then we put, again, sauce everywhere, mozzarella, beautiful mozzarella cut into cubes, and great parmesan on top, everywhere. You want this to be nice and cheesy. Again, another layer of uh, lasagna sheets, and then you put the sauce, it's beautiful, rich vegetarian sauce. Again, mozzarella everywhere, parmesan cheese everywhere, and again, another layer. 
when you guys, when you do the last layer, you put sauce on top, but not too much. You want the top part to be wet. Um, and then what do you do? You put more mozzarella, more parmesan, and cover it with our foil. Five minutes before you take it out of the oven, you remove the our foil and you just watch it. Guys, now it's time to put this in the oven, 180 Celsius for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Everything is already done. The pasta will cook very, very fast. We just want the cheese to melt beautifully. Now, I plate it up. It's time to eat it because it looks fantastic. I want to eat too. None for you, my friend. You have to wash up. Yeah, I want to eat. So, you can eat. Sorry, you have to wash up. Maybe you get the corner piece if you're a good boy. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Did you enjoy it? Which Vincenzo do you prefer? Let us know. <laughs> e ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Let's see if we did a good job together. From the look, it looks good. Hmm? Do you agree? Oh, my God. Smell. It smells so beautiful. Actually, I can yeah. smell the ricotta too. Mm. Mm. The cheese melted to perfection. But the pasta is perfect. The combination of ingredients is perfect. This is an epic vegetable lasagna. Thank you so much. Thank you.